just like everything on the internet, it's uh, the good and the bad. So, for again, uh, coming back to the sort of interlacing of electricity and uh, the internet of things. So for the first time in 130 years uh, of, the, of the electric grid, since you know, uh, uh, Thomas Edison, uh, Tesla, you have devices, machines, appliances, not only connected to the grid, electric grid, but now also connected to the internet. And of course, we all know what mischief can unfold when uh, with your laptop, your, your smartphone, anything connected to the internet. There's potential for problems. However, on the other, on the other side, obviously, the internet of things is gonna produce significant value to consumers, um, uh, it's, it's going to be a very big plus. So again, there you have the, the downside because I think it's, it's going to be real mischief. You, 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 the old adage about the, the wife turning to her husband and saying, I, I wonder if I turned my, the iron off before I left. And well, now you'll have the real, unfortunately, the real concern about whether or not some online driven mischief unfolds while you're on your vacation, whatever. So um, I think that's, that's one. Artificial intelligence, again, uh, the good and the bad. So, um, it, but in, in all of this, I would, I would point out that, uh, as you mentioned with my tie, the horses have already left the barn. So uh, it's now an issue of managing what uh, these, these issues as they unfold in real time. And, and our ability, quite frankly, uh, because of the multiplier effect of all of this technology is having, on quite frankly, keeping up with it. Even the, even the governments are finding that it's difficult for them to keep up with the onrush advance of technologies and their impact on their citizens. And so I think all of us as global citizens are going to be challenged by how this is going to impact our lives, our families, our communities.